What's going on gamers? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today I'm reluctantly going to show you my favorite drop spot in chapter 3 of season 4 of Fortnite. Now I say reluctantly because dang this spot is good and right now it's not really on anyone's radar which means Mm, I am hesitant to share this information, but you know, I want to provide you with the most value possible in my videos, so I want to share it. And maybe this can be our little secret, yeah? Now, to put my money where my mouth is and prove to you how good this spot is, I'm going to do a little challenge. I'm giving away a gift card for a thousand V-Bucks for every single minute that passes by where I'm not fully shielded and fully looted. Yes, that's right. So if five minutes pass by, I'm giving away 5,000 V-Bucks to you, my viewers, and future subscribers. Now, the way that you're going to enter this giveaway is by answering my secret question that I'm going to ask you somewhere throughout the video. So watch the whole video, look out for the secret question, and then leave a reply in the comments with your answer to that question to enter the giveaway. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, you guys might think you know this spot, but if you really did, you'd probably be dropping here every game. Watch to the end of the video to see how this location continues to get better and better. It seriously has everything you'd want with practically no drawbacks. I'll show you much more of the secrets it holds after the challenge clip plays. I was dropping here a lot last season, but they practically made it three times as good, and the chrome this season continues to push more loot, vaults, and balloons towards it. First off, it's central, so you hardly ever get caught running far from the storm. Secondly, when you land here, you you can get max health right away guaranteed. There's 12 slurp barrels on the airship, 21 slurp barrels at the lake bunker, or a giant slurp truck at the edge of the lake. You'll usually find a vault key within about a minute by looting the main bunker area. Then you can take your vault key down to the hidden vault right next door and unlock it for epic and legendary weapons plus all the health you'll ever need. Just by running that short route, you should pretty much be set up for endgame. All right, two and a half minutes. I should probably give away 2,000 V-Bucks for that, but you know what? I really appreciate you guys sticking around, watching this video, supporting me and the channel. So I'm gonna throw in another 1,000 V-Bucks into the giveaway. Let's make that 3,000 V-Bucks. Remember to stick around through the whole video to watch for the secret question that I ask so that you can comment and be entered in the giveaway. All right, now let's get back into it. But this place has so much more to offer, so keep watching to see. Just a quick tip, I'd recommend getting a reality seed and planting it near the bunker to speed up your looting process. You can get double the loot out of your tree by splashing it with chrome splashes or chug splashes one time. Now, if you happen to find more keys along the way, there are mini hollow chests all around the lake, which you can use to buy top tier loot with keys. Check out this map for the locations. These randomly spawn in sets of three or four chests around the lake. Usually you'll find one at the res bus or next to the radio tower. There's usually one at the drill site or gas station over here and one at the trailers over here. Now, the bunker merchant sells Evo Chrome weapons, sometimes rare versions. As you might know, these weapons are very good when they get leveled up. Now let's check out the insane mobility options we have at this drop location. This merchant here sells a rift that allows you to leave at any time. If people are trying to sneak up on you or the storm's coming in, you can instantly rift out for a small cost. On top of that, there are two off-road tire trucks guaranteed to spawn every game on each side of you with a quick zip line to get to them. On the trailer side of the lake, there's a slurp truck in the water that will get you to full health instantly when you break it. It's one of the few on the entire map. So really, you can drop at three nearby locations and get full shields with plenty of starter weapons. If you're playing trios or squads, I'd recommend dropping at the balloon, main bunker, and the trailer hill to loot faster and guarantee finding a key within a minute. Now let's zip line over the radio tower. Below me is a ton of floor loot and chests. Chug splashes are very common in this area, which is probably the best form of healing in the game. There's a jump pad down here on the ground for extra mobility to get around quickly or get out if someone pushes you. I use this all the time. There's even a bounty board down here at the shack to track down opponents near you. There are loot chests all over this place and you're practically guaranteed to get a vault key here if you haven't already. I've dropped here over a hundred times and I've gotten a vault key every single time. Now all over these docks there's fishing barrels that can drop harpoon guns. So you can get shield fish or slurp fish very quickly if you want. Slurp fish might even be considered a better healing item than chug splashes. All around these docks there are also boats to travel around with. Now I'm going to show you a few things that make this place incredible. Let's go over to this blimp. This blimp is full of loot, chests, and shield kegs, but there's also a merchant here who sells shockwave grenades, which are the best mobility item in the game and are always difficult to find. He also sells chrome splashes. You can buy one and then duplicate it on the rocks downstairs by shooting them. All right, you've made it this far. The secret question is, what Fortnite skin do you hate dying to the most? 
Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment with a response for a chance to win a thousand V-Bucks. I'll randomly choose winners and reply to their comments with instructions on how to redeem the code. Now, this balloon has crazy mobility by shooting you up into the sky and letting you glide really far. It allows you to stay at this location for a long time and scout around to find enemies. And when the storm rolls in, you can just fly out. You can also glide over to Grim Gables, aka Shifty Shafts, and loot the airship there. If you have two vault keys, you can open the mega vault inside the airship for extra loot, although you probably won't need it. Then you can use the airship turbines to glide back to the air balloon at the lake. Now, I like to buy an evochrome weapon from the merchant down in the bunker at the lake, or make one by splashing a chest with chrome, and then go animal hunting with this balloon. I glide from the balloon over the hills of Grim Gables, aka Shifty Shafts, and search for animals below me. There are about 8 total boars or wolves that spawn in this area. If I don't get my evochrome weapons leveled up all the way to legendary, I'll go back to the lake and kill the sharks to finish up. When it's time to leave, get back to the blimp, buy your mobility items, and then parachute out or just drive the off-road truck. So as you can see, the Loot Lake drop spot literally has everything you could want. It's a central map location, hardly anyone drops there, you'll get guaranteed max health on your drop, guaranteed legendary and epic weapons, you'll get full splashes, you'll get guaranteed full shockwaves or chrome, you'll get chrome weapons if you want them, you'll have guaranteed off-road vehicles, and there's tons of mobility options. Alright, now you know the best spot to drop this season. But if you really want to utilize all the season has to offer, then you're going to want to watch this video right here to learn all the secret abilities of Chrome. Thank you for watching. Now go get that victory royale. Shinobi out.